So it would appear that we are getting absolutely spoiled rotten with Star Wars content right now. Um, I stayed up until 4am last night uh, watching, recording and editing Tales of the Empire. And now uh, also went to go see The Phantom Menace in the cinema, which... Uh, Interesting circumstances. I had to walk out and leave halfway through. Um, only a minor part of that was because of the film. <laughs> I'll explain that another time. Um, it wasn't the greatest of days for me yesterday. Um, but we've now got the Acolyte full trailer. Uh, it's due to come out in a month. And, you know, we did have the teaser trailer about a month ago. Uh, there was a poster that was released or leaked online. And the only thing we could garner from it was a mysterious dark side character and the introduction of Jedi Vectors into uh, live action, which is great. I, I love the idea of the Vector. I like the design based off of the um, sketches that we've seen so far. And it looks like we're kind of really getting into the full swing of the Acolyte now, as uh, technically speaking, Tales of the Empire ended at the same moment it got released, because they released them all in one go. Uh, we also had the Bad Batch finale this week. That was a hell of a thing. So, you know, again, this week, obviously, May the 4th, it is it is Star Wars Day, um, just a few days before my birthday. Um it is just, it's a glut of kind of Star Wars content, and I'm, I'm enjoying it very much. Um, so, as always, I'll be reacting to the Acolyte on this channel when it comes out. So, by all means, please make sure you're subscribed if you do want to check that out. Um, despite the fact that we've only had a teaser trailer, the Acolyte has already managed to cause a lot of controversy within the fandom. Um, mostly because people are butthead over diversity. Um, a lot of people seem to think that this show trying to excel at, you know, its lightsaber fights, uh, found some offense in that. Again, not everyone, but a certain section of the uh, the fandom. Um, and it's just crazy how things like that can go. So, anyway, we're going to watch the trailer. I'm wondering what we're going to see here. I'm guessing they're probably going to show us a bit more of this dark side villain, um, given that they are on the official poster. But we're going to find out. So, let's jump in and let's see. Last night... A Jedi was murdered. Ooh. The Jedi. Jedi Temple. Justify their galactic dominance. Ooh. In the name of peace. I like the look. Peace is a lie. Oh, the humming noise of the lightsabers. Wow. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her So in. there's a link. She was a Padawan. I sense this is only a small part of Venestra. Who's gonna have a light whip? Some sort of shift to tip the scales. There he is. It's time. Ooh, well, that looks Really interesting. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. If you want to pull Damn. the thread, and change everything and pull it. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Two episode premiere. Okay, so again, not revealing too much, but we are getting some snippets now of where the story might end up going. Um, obviously, the mysterious figure who, um, you know, seems to be the one hunting the Jedi down. We there get confer confirmation that she is a former Padawan of one of the main characters there. Um... We got to see Dean Charles Chapman's character for the first time. You know, we knew he'd been cast in the show, but we hadn't seen anything about him other than, I think, a photo from the sets. Um, so, again, there's there's definitely people in this show that we don't know a lot about, um, including the villain as well. You know, the, the masked Sif, it looks like. Um, it could well be that they are the person who is, you know, coordinating everything from the dark side perspective, but then it could also be a red flag or a red herring, I think, as they call it. 
um, and there could be something else at play. It wouldn't be the first time that, you know, a villain that appears to be the main character in the trailer turns out not to be. Um, one of the things that I really like is that the visuals in this look to be very much like Andor, a lot more location shots, uh, limited use of the volume, um, you know, which I particularly enjoy. The volume's definitely got a place um, in production, but I think the overuse of it sometimes can be a detriment. So from what I've seen here, a lot of the location shots look really good. Um, there's some interesting space scenes there as well. You know, they were going through what I can only assume were the rings of a planet um, in some kind of a chase. That looked really interesting, you know. Um, but we're getting a two-episode premiere in a month's time, uh, which is better than every episode dropping at once. It's certainly less uh, stress on people who react to the show. Um, the Even just the little... I mean, as mentioned... Sorry, that's Zuko, who's currently, again, looking for attention. Um, as mentioned, I'd gone to the Phantom Menace um, showing yesterday because, you know, I wanted to go see it again in cinemas after 25 years and also to see the preview of... The Acolyte, but I didn't quite make it to the end of the film for several reasons that, again, I'll go into one day. Um, so I didn't get to see much of, like, apparently there is a fair bit of lightsaber action in there, and it apparently looks really good. But what we got at the very end of this was a little snippet of the Dark Side user about to enter into combat, and it looked really smooth. It looked really kind of prequel-esque, should we say? Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the saber fights here. Uh, but again, a lot of mystery around this series... I think the basis of it is that, as they've mentioned, Jedi being killed, they think they know who it is who's doing it, so one of the main characters goes after their Padawan, former Padawan, and then it might be that, you know, this mysterious dark side figure comes out from the shadows and reveals themselves. So, um, it is going to be interesting, I think. I think the show is going to take place, was it about 100 years before The Phantom Menace? So, still plenty of distance from, you know, the prequel era. So there's a lot of possibilities as to who all these characters could be. Um, but yes, looking forward to it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you... Uh, well, I've still got a couple of episodes of Tales of the Empire to go up, so if you want to go and watch those reactions, go for it. Um, but I will see you for the next video.